These are the 20 craziest goals in World Cup history. And at number 20, Pavard shocked his entire team with this goal. Damn, he destroyed Argentina's chances of winning that game. But that's nothing compared to what Dennis Bergkamp did to Argentina in 1998. Frank de Boer speelt the ball. Heel goed naar Dennis Bergkamp. Dennis Bergkamp. Dennis Bergkamp neemt de bal aan. Dennis Bergkamp. The non-flying Dutchman single-handedly kicked Argentina out of that tournament. But hey, at least it wasn't as humiliating as what Ronaldinho did at number 18. Dino was only 22 at the time and had just signed at PSG, but he wasn't a superstar just yet. So when he got a chance to show his skills to the world, he did this. That goal immediately caught him a contract at Barcelona, but it didn't set a world record like number 17. Because what Tony Kroos did in 2014 against Brazil had never been done before. Only 24 minutes into the game, Germany had already scored twice, but that wasn't enough for Kroos. And uh, Germany looking good for the final on Sunday. They make it another one here. It's 3 -0. Brazilian fans were already crying, but Germany wanted to humiliate them. This is for four. This is quite astonishing. It's all over now. Yeah, he doubled down the score in only 69 seconds. That game ended up 7-1 for Germany and impressed the entire world. But there's one man who scores even faster, Hakan Sakur. <laughs> He only needed 11 seconds for that. I know that goal wasn't pretty, but I saved the prettiest ones for the top five. But first up, number 15. It was the 1970 World Cup final, Italy versus Brazil. It was a special game for Pele, his last World Cup game ever. His entire legacy was on the line, so he knew what to do when Rivellino crossed the ball. Easy Wheels started as my college project, and we now sell our wheel covers all around the world. Yeah, he really jumped over 20 inches, reached the ball a meter and a half in the air, and was hanging there for almost an entire second. There's no wonder why he became the first and only player so far to win the World Cup three times. But that goal wasn't as sneaky as number 14. Only three minutes into Colombia's first game, they were already suffering a red car for this hands ball. Things weren't looking that great, and they were down 1-0. So when Colombia was given a free kick, Quintero came up with a sneaky plan. Can he deliver? Under the wall and in! Now that's a savage clip. I thought people only did this stuff on FIFA. But that's not as smart as what Diego Maradona did in 1978. See, back then there was no video assistant referee, so you could get away with a lot more, even scoring with your hands. That goal has gone down in history, and if you Google Diego Maradona, Hand of God is the first thing that pops up. All right, that goal might have been luck, but Diego's next goal was pure skill. My guy was unstoppable that game against England, because what he did later on is one of the most infamous moments in football history. Diego literally humiliated the entire country of England. <laughs> He left those defenders for dead. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six defenders confused. But at least the goalkeeper saw the ball coming, because Roberto Carlos's free kicks go so fast you can hardly see them fly by. Look at that! The keeper had no chance. He launched that ball so fast it reached a speed of 105 miles per hour. There's no wonder why they call Roberto Carlos the bullet man. Yeah, Brazil dominated the World Cup that year. Wait until you see what Ronaldo did in the final. Brazil certainly not sitting back, just defending. Rivaldo leaves it for Ronaldo! That goal led Brazil straight to the title, making it Ronaldo's second time lifting up the trophy. But even though the pressure was high, it was still an easy goal, especially compared to what Mike Khan did against Korea in 2010. Mike Khan wants it, gets it, will bring it in, and drives it in! What a goal! Damn! My God really knows how to throw a curve. That goal left him in tears for the rest of the game. Just like number eight, when David Beckham left Greece crying on the pitch for hours. 93rd minute, down by one. The final kick to decide who would go to the World Cup. 
The stakes don't get much crazier than that, right? Well, as David Beckham stepped up, in came the flashback. The last time he had a World Cup opportunity, pretty boy Dave had a meltdown, causing his country to lose the match and become the most hated man in England. It got so out of control that he and his family were getting death threats, leaving them terrified to even step out of their own home. But now Beckham finally had a chance to save him and his family. That goal secured England a spot in the 0-2 World Cup. But hey, it wasn't the craziest goal that year, because that would be number seven on our list. You see, Brazilian strikers and wingers are known for their skills and the ability to finish, but who knew a defender like Edmilson could do this? Yeah, that bicycle kick was insane, but it almost broke his back. Luckily, not everyone has folded themselves backwards to score a wonder goal. You should ask Joe Cole. Looking for Lampard. Breaks it for Joe Cole. Oh, that volley is arguably the best goal by England at any World Cup ever. But honestly, that's nothing compared to the Netherlands' craziest goal in World Cup history. Down 1-0, ball at the half line. The Netherlands were desperate for some momentum. In the closing minutes of the first half, Von Persie took a leap of faith. Reaching the legal limits, that's a good ball as well. Oh, the header! Oh, my word! The precision, the timing, one of football's most difficult goals ever. Many actually claim this was the greatest header of all time. So with that, Van Persie put himself in the history books. But he's not the only Dutchman in there, because this goal by Giovanni van Bronckhurst left everyone speechless. It does now, van Bronckhurst! Oh, that has got to be one of the great goals of the World Cup Final! No wonder it was the best goal of the 2010 Cup. But hey, things are only getting crazier from here because we finally made it to the top three, where one player left an entire team wondering if they were hallucinating. Yeah, coming into that game, James Rodriguez was on fire. He had already scored five times in the tournament, so it was only a matter of time before he scored his sixth. And the way he did that... James Rodriguez tirando golazo, take it, take it, take it, Phenomenal. He won the Golden Boot because of that goal and got signed by Real Madrid, making the most expensive Colombian player in football history. But number two on our list, we had to dig deep into the archives. 1982, Brazil versus the Soviet Union. That goal was pure skill. Absolutely insane. You might be wondering, can anything even top that? Well, yeah, we saved the best for last. This is the number one craziest goal in World Cup history. Argentina versus Mexico. Things weren't looking good for Argentina because Mexico opened up the score only six minutes into the game. Luckily, Crespo took over the team and scored the equalizer. But still, Argentina needed to win to make it to the next round. Attempt after attempt after attempt. The ball just couldn't hit the net. 90 minutes played. Extra time just started. Argentina needed a miracle. So 98 minutes into the game, that's exactly what they got. Sorin. Maxi Rodriguez goes for goal! And just like that, the game was over. Now if you think these goals were crazy, wait until you see the best goals in Premier League history. Click that video right now on the screen.